Studio Plug. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Studio Plug and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create a Lil Uzi Vert type beat using FL Studio. So before I get started, I do want to let you guys know that I have some new drops at StudioPlug.net. I got the Black Omnisphere Bank, Portal MIDI Kit, Parasite Omnisphere Bank, and Uzi World Omnisphere Bank. So go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are new here and hit that like button so it helps the video rank through the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have your sound selection. Since it's a little Uzi Vert style beat, I'm going to be going with some synths, some arps, pads. And then I got the rest of the kit sounds, which is the kicks, 808, claps, hi-hats. But anyway, let me go and show you guys the sounds that I'll be using. And those are all the synths, and these are all the rest of the drum kit sounds. Alright, so that's all the sound selection, and then the next part is laying down the chords. So to get the chords, I went down to the drop down arrow. From here, go to helpers, go to scale highlighting, and just highlight the D sharp Aeolian scale. And then from here, we're just going to work our way up to build the chords. After you got the chords down, you're just going to want to copy the selection here and paste it onto the rest of your sound channels. And for the synth and arps, I actually went into the channel and I changed the root note to G. And the reason for that is because I added gross beat. On gross beat, I have it set to slow triplet and that brings down the pitch.
So those are the effects I used on my VST channels. Now to the drums. Once I got the rhythm going, I just matched it up with the 808. With the 808, I just grabbed the root note of the chord and paste it onto the 808 channel and just try to match it with the kick. So after this part, I just did some slight EQing, which I won't show. And if you guys do need help with your EQing, I'll link some videos down in the description that will help you with any mixing or mastering. But anyway, that is all for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, and give me some feedback. And let me know what you guys like to see next, and I'll try my best to push it out for you guys. Anyway, that is all for this video. I'm going to let the beat play out now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Studio Plug.